Hi, my name is Vanessa Conlin, Master of Wine and Head of Wine at Wine Access, and I'm here to taste part of the Discovery of France series that we co-collaborated with Wine Folly co-founder Madeleine puckett on to really introduce you to the major growing regions of France and why you should care. So today I'm going to be tasting a wine from Bordeaux. This is the 2018 Croix de Brie, Camille de Brie, uh Bordeaux. This is um, just outside of Saint-Emilion on the right bank, and it's actually a family-owned property. So Pierre and Axel uh, named this after their daughter, Camille. So in the glass, it's ruby in color. On the nose, sort of classic Bordeaux. I get this um, sort of pencil shavings. There's a bit of sort of forest floor, barnyard, black currant, cedar, really intriguing. We'll taste it together and then we'll talk a little bit more in depth about the region, the varieties, the history, and why you should know it. So when tasting wine, I like to really jump to what's the first thing that I notice in the glass. And what I notice about this wine is the structure. There's an incredible amount of tannin present. And if you've tasted with me on any of the previous red wine videos, tannin, you will already know, comes from the skids, the skins of red grapes. It gives wine its color but also its structure and that drying sensation, that tactile feeling that the moisture is being sucked out of your tongue. This wine has quite a bit of tannin, but it has a sort of fine grained pixelated quality to it. The acidity is fresh. I have a sort of medium, medium plus body and a lot of the flavors that I noticed in terms of aromas, the sort of black cherry, sort of currant, it has a smokiness to it. Um, and it has a beautiful savory note as well that's adding complexity on the palate and what has a fairly long finish. The region of Bordeaux is located in southwest France. It surrounds the Gironde estuary fed by two rivers. Bordeaux as a region has a very important history. It dates back to ancient times in terms of an important port of trade. Uh, it has a very close and long relationship with England. It actually was a province of England for a period of time. And it's a region that's based on blends. There are other wines in this series that we've discussed, for instance, from Burgundy, where we're talking 100% single variety. But Bordeaux was built really on um, being able to provide consistent production, which meant not hanging your hat every year on one single variety. Given that this climate is maritime, there are risks of things like frost and hail. And as a producer, you would not wanna risk your whole production on that specific vintage. So there are five important varieties to when, when we're talking about red wines from Bordeaux, although there are other permitted varieties we won't go into right now, but Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, and Malbec. And as a region, it's sort of split into two geologically significant areas, what we call the right bank and the left bank. So the left bank has more gravelly soils, more well-drained and suited to Cabernet Sauvignon. On the right bank, we have more clay and limestone, holds a bit more moisture, more suited to Merlot. And this wine, uh, this is from the right bank, and it is 80% Merlot and 20% Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, there are a lot of Cabernet Franc and Merlot-based wines on the right bank, but it does not have to be limited to those two. Now, this is a small production. Um, this family lives literally in the stone barn above the production facility where they produce all of this wine. And in terms of pairings, I apologize to vegetarians, but I really think steak, freak, steak, frit, or a burger would be fantastic with this. You could also do a roasted chicken, uh, maybe some kind of pasta, but it's kind of calling for that really great um, marriage of protein, given how much tannin this wine has in it. So 
If you enjoyed this, stick with me. We are traveling to the Garden of France, the Loire Valley next, to taste a Cabernet Franc from Chinon.